what's going on everybody welcome to rng crypto it's your boy here with you for another video guys and in today's video we are talking about osmi ai yes i've done a couple of videos but this one's a little bit different i'm actually going to break it down and dive a little bit deeper into why this project is even relevant also i'll talk about the team a little bit and of course the note sale make sure you use my referral link down below with that said let's jump right into it so we all know Artificial intelligence is changing the world, but right now, its power is locked away, right? Only a handful of corporations dictate how AI is built, who gets access, and what it can actually do. So this monopoly isn't just unfair, but it's also dangerous. The problem, centralized AI is broken. How is it broken? Limited access. AI requires enormous computing power, but cloud services like AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, charge high fees for access to those high performance GPUs. So companies like the one that starts with O and ends with AI, they can afford those access costs. But for smaller independent developers, people that might be up and coming in the Web3 space or someone even in the Web2 world, I don't know why you'd be there, but they would have very limited experimentation capabilities. And as a result, innovation is really just stuck with or limited to the big tech industries, right? So those small players can't really participate because it's just simply too expensive to be able to have all of those GPUs powering whatever AI project they might be working on. So that's an issue. Next up, bias. Guys, AI models are trained on data sets, right? That may reflect the biases of the creators, right? Again, that same company starts with O, ends with AI. A lot of their stuff favors Western perspectives and definitely underrepresents a lot of the global viewpoints that are out there, right? An example, and this is just a random example from the past in 2021, an AI powered recruitment tool was used by a major tech company, won't say who it was, but they found out that it favored male candidates over women because simply it was just trained on that historical data that was male dominated. <laughs> That's an issue. That's a huge issue. Not only that, but there's also censorship. And this guy, by the way, bias and censorship, this is how they drive the narrative, right? Centralized AI companies filter results based on their internal policies. So if they don't like one thing, they're just gonna keep it out, right? So this restricts certain topics or viewpoints that really don't align with their corporate interests. And yes, that happens. That same company starts with an O, ends with AI. They have been criticized for refusing to generate content on politically sensitive information or topics. Right? So effectively, that controls the flow of information, controls the narrative, big tech, pulling those strings once again. Right? The other thing, guys, proprietary lock-in. AI tools and models are kept behind subscription-based paywalls, making it difficult, again, for those smaller players to compete and build on existing frameworks. Right? So if someone just wants to, they don't really want to build their own entire AI tool, but they want to just use one, a company like starts with an O, ends with AI, initially just make you pay for that stuff. It used to be open source when it first came out, but then they changed it to closed source paid AI model or paid API model. And now they're preventing the broader community and people like you and me and developers out there from improving upon it. So these centralized AI practices really limit access, fairness and innovation. And that is exactly what Osmi AI aims to fix with its decentralized approach. So right now, the AI industry is basically a walled garden. If you're not inside, you're left behind. But what if we could break down those walls, right? That's where Osmi comes in. Osmi is a decentralized, censorship-resistant AI infrastructure designed to break free from corporate control and give the power back to us, the people. How do we do it? Well, resource pooling is a huge component. Instead of relying on a few centralized cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and all those, Osmi allows individuals and businesses to contribute their unused GPUs to a global network. This creates a decentralized, basically, supercomputer that anyone can tap into at much, much lower costs. So an example, I mean, obviously I'm running mine, but on a bigger scale, you could have, for example, a university research lab that has a bunch of GPUs in their labs that are underutilized that they could then rent out, right? Rent out all of that access computing power through Osmi 
and make high performance AI processing more accessible to independent developers. The developers get low cost AI processing and the university or that specific department gets OSMI rewards that they can now monetize. The other thing, decentralized ownership, right? So traditional AI models are owned and controlled by corporations, but OSMI allows a community driven approach where AI development is governed by its users. So an example of this would be, again, that company starts with an O, ends with AI. If they decided how a model like their GPT behaves, Osmi decentralizes the network, ensuring that AI policies and improvements are decided collectively rather than dictated by the corporate interest, that one company, right? So me as a node operator can actually vote on any changes. And finally, transparency, accessibility, and accuracy. Right? Osmi will be open source, eventually allowing anyone to inspect, improve, and customize AI models without corporate restrictions. On top of that, through Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, Osmi's AI is going to have access to real-time information, ensuring it remains up-to-date, adaptive, and continuously evolving. So unlike traditional AI models that might rely on static training data, Osmi's decentralized framework will enable it to learn about itself, right? refine its responses and then stay informed without being locked into outdated knowledge. And that's gonna ensure greater transparency, greater accuracy and accessibility for everyone. So an example, let's just say a politician initially opposes a new climate policy, but later reverses their stance after public pressure. Traditional AI models relying on static training data might still state that the politician opposes this policy, right? Or providing uh, and provides you with outdated or misleading information. With Osmi's RAG powered AI, it's gonna fetch real-time updates from decentralized sources, instantly learning about the politician's change in the position, and then it ensures that the users receive the most accurate and current information. So all in all, Osmi's decentralized AI infrastructure removes the barriers imposed by big tech, creating an open, fair, and inclusive future of AI. So let's get to the juicy bit. With Osmi, AI isn't just locked behind some corporate walls. It's powered by 1,100 nodes worldwide run by everyday users like you and me. I actually have about 20 nodes. I'm not afraid to say it. I love this project. But why would you run an Osmi node? Well, you earn daily rewards. Every one of my nodes at today's rate is actually getting about 400 Osmi tokens per day, right? And one Osmi token is currently worth about 26 cents, right? When I made this video the first time, guys, well, the very first time back in November, it was about 17 cents. So if you guys hopped on there, congratulations. Uh, but earlier this week, I also made a video saying, hey, there's another note sale. Prices are probably gonna go up. Get your Osmi now so that you can get a discount on your note. And some of you guys took advantage, so I do appreciate the support. If you do decide to support me, make sure that you're using my referral link because you are going to get $100 off of the cost of these notes. These notes are currently priced at $4,000, which is a pretty low cost for this kind of note, right? There's only going to be about 1,700 notes in circulation here in these beginning phases. Uh, so keep that in mind, right? So if you do wanna purchase yourself one, do yourself a favor, get that $100 discount and support my channel. I would really greatly appreciate it. In fact, guys, these nodes are in such high demand. The first phase sold out within four hours, 1000 nodes sold within four hours, burning 3.3 million Osmi out of the circulating supply. In fact, this note sale also burns. Every time that you buy a node, you are burning Osmi. This is not a money grab. The team does not need your funding. They are turning down VCs. Let me say that again. They have turned down several VCs. Pause. Keep that in mind as you're thinking about this decision here. There's also a pretty quick turnaround or ROI on your investment. So right now at the 26 cent per Osmi token rate, you're looking at about a month and a week of ROI time to be able to get your invested money back, All right? So roughly $100 a day times 37.5 is gonna give you that $3,900 price point. Again, this is crypto, everything is not guaranteed, or actually I should say nothing is guaranteed. Markets vary, price could go up, price could go down. But some food for thought to think about whether or not you want to maybe take this next step here. And again, if you do decide to purchase a note, please, please, please use my referral link. It's down below. It's also linked in all of my uh, ex posts about Osmi. 
So rewards are great. Obviously, we are all going to be incentivized by the rewards, but this is more than about just the rewards, right? We want something that's going to be here for the long run. We want something that's truly about building a decentralized AI network that's going to benefit everyone. So Osmi has utility. It is more than just a token. So some of the utility is node licenses. So you'll be able to purchase nodes with the Osmi token. In fact, you can only purchase them with the Osmi token. And again, all of that Osmi gets burned out of the circulating supply, reducing the circulating supply, not revenue going to the team. It's not a money grab. They don't need your money. We're making sure that we're fostering a long term viable project here. In addition, you're also going to be able to use the Osmi token as a premium AI service uh, unlock, essentially. So if you are a professional that does a ton of image generation past the freemium level, right, and you want to continue to generate images or use the premium usage on the actual chatbot itself, you're going to be able to do that as long as you have Osmi tokens to pay for those additional credits. On top of that, you'll also have staking. Staking is going to help you gain more Osmi over time. You're going to lock your Osmi token and then be rewarded in form of APY. This is great for long term network growth. On top of that, the actual governance that's going to be built on this platform is also going to allow people who have locked their Osmi in the staking program to be able to participate in any kind of votes or changes that are happening on the platform. And finally, you're going to have developers that are going to need to burn Osmi in order to use the Osmi APIs, right? So they're going to probably build some custom AI applications that are going to use the LLM, the Osmi platform on the back end. But in order for them to have access to that, they're going to need to use Osmi and, or burn Osmi, right? Again, it's not a payment. It's a burn of Osmi in order to have access to those Osmi APIs. Again, much lower cost than your traditional starts with O, oh, ends with AI type service. This is a decentralized platform, right? That's hosted in a decentralized manner, making it much more cost effective to run, which in turn allows them to provide a much lower cost service to these developers. And I love this part because it's also a business to business proposition, right? So now you're working with other companies, with other projects that are taking advantage of your solution, of your service. Really, really love this use case here. And there are other use cases that are coming up in the future, but these are the big ones right now out of the gate. With that said, guys, we're going to jump into just a few of the Osmi team members, just so you can get an idea of who is actually building this. And first up, we've got Kasim Malik. He's the lead Web3 strategist driving network growth, token utility, and engagement. Former tech consultant at IBM, Accenture, and currently Web3 strategist at Gala Games. Next up, we've got Steven Nichols. He's the current CTO, or the chief technical officer, who's leading the blockchain and AI innovation at the company. He's the former Gala Games CTO with 20 plus years in tech, as well as pushing boundaries in gaming and AI. And if you recall Gala Games, these guys have a very robust deep pin or decentralized network that he was leading the charge of. And finally, Chris Chutter, Chief Operating Officer, driving growth and innovation. He's a former Gala lead engineer on nodes, as well as has history in AAA games such as Halo and Call of Duty. He's actually also one of the masterminds behind the node network and I know that Gala Games has sort of a negative reputation currently. However, their technology is cutting edge. It is some of the best tech out there and both Chris Chudder and Steve Nichols are the masterminds behind that. So knowing that they can build such a robust complex network for Gala Games, right? Again, Gala Games on the marketing side and on the public view, not great reputation, but the tech speaks for itself. The tech is there and these guys are the ones who built that tech and they are now building the tech for Osmi AI. So this team is definitely a very strong team. And by the way, guys, they care about the community. They're going to put us first. Keep that in mind. So that brings us to the end of the video. Osmi isn't just disrupting AI, it's rebuilding it from the ground up. A future where AI is transparent, accessible, and owned by the people. Join the movement, be part of a decentralized AI revolution, run a node, earn rewards, shape the future, 
and make sure you use that referral link down below.